Keep an eye on the tires, please keep an eye on the tires. Welcome to a new series where we'll be taking a deeper look at some of the intricacies and fundamental aspects of Formula E and answering your frequently asked questions about some of the things that make Formula E so unique. I'm Saunders CB and this is Formula E Explained. One of the most frequent questions we get underneath the Formula E content is about the tyres that are used in Formula E and why they're used. Well, let me tell you, because this is the Michelin Pilot Sport EV, exclusive to Formula E and the third generation of its kind since Formula E's inception in 2014. It's the only 18-inch racing tyre to feature in any single-seater world championship. It's the only hybrid tyre engineered to perform in both wet and dry conditions on any surface, and that's from the start to the finish of every e pre including free practice, qualifying, and of course, the race. But there is much more to this tyre than meets the eye. Formula E is all about racing sustainably and having a positive impact on the planet. And every aspect of the World Championship needs to work towards making those goals a reality. Even before you get to the racing, the development of the cars and what they're made of plays an essential role in advancing more sustainable technology. Tyres are one of, if not the most, disposable part of a race car, given the fact that they can only be used for a set amount of time before being rendered unsafe or unfit for purpose. So, how do you make something that is seen as disposable more sustainable? You start with how it's made. It started from the beginning of the championship. We proposed the FIA and the Formula E to use only a single tyre for any condition for very cold, very hot, dry or wet. The idea is to produce less tyre as possible uh, with the, the less raw materials was uh, also the, the first idea. We had to mix the mindset of the motorsport spirit, uh, but as well uh, the, the road purpose mindset. The sustainable credentials of the tyres used in Formula E has improved every year. Since the first season, Michelin has managed to shave around 20% off the weight of the pilot sports used in Formula E, without any huge loss to grip or tyre life. It may not sound like a lot, but that works out as a saving of 9 kilograms per car, which, as we know, goes a long way in racing, not to mention helping extend the range of the cars. Combine this with changes in the regulations over the years, including how many sets of tyres are allowed to be used per race day. In season seven, this allocation has been reduced by 25% per single race and by up to 50% at double headers, meaning fewer tyres need to be made, shipped and recycled than any other FIA championship. This could potentially see savings of 720 tyres over the course of a season, with 50 tonnes of CO2 equivalent less emissions produced and a 29% reduction in the overall impact of the tyres. Now that is the sort of progress we like to see. But the life of these tyres doesn't end at the chequered flag because 100% of the tyres used in Formula E are recycled and go on to have a second life. All our tyres, uh, after each event, got back to the, to the warehouse and then after they are all uh, recycled. So we have a different way to, uh, to recycle them. The first one is uh, in, a, in a cement plant to use them uh, as uh, energy and it replaces uh, basically the use of, uh, of petrol for, for that. So that's the first thing. And uh, we have also uh, a second way, which is uh, to uh, reduce all the, the tires in a, in a kind of a powder uh, we can use in different applications. For example, uh, the, the rubber ground in uh, the kindergarten. Also, when we're, we are doing the, the, the roads, you know, we need a kind of uh, elasticity for the temperature difference uh, between uh, winter and, uh, and, and summer. So uh, we use that under. Uh, really the, the, the first uh, layer and it helps uh, the, the road to, to last, so it's also sustainable. So that's how they're made and how many are used, but what about racing on them? Here's Nissan EDEMS drivers Sebastian Buemi and Oliver Rowland to tell us. Formula E tyres, what are they all about? 
They're a lot different to pretty much anything else you'll ever experience in terms of tyres. We have a little bit less grip, which means that the speed in the corners is not as good as if you would have some slick tyres. Yes, it definitely uh, makes racing more difficult and closer just because the cars are sliding more. So you need to look a little bit after the tyres, but at the same time, you need to be pushing close to the walls and the slightest mistakes make you, uh, you know, hit the wall or, or lose a lot of lap time. One of the biggest elements is having to adapt as a driver. I think in Formula E that is a huge part of the racing. So clearly the driver has a bigger impact than in maybe some other categories. From this season onward, we will only have two sets of tyres for a double header or one and a half for a normal weekend, which is not easy to handle because uh, you need to look after them. But on the other hand, it shows how good they are because you can do the whole weekend nearly with one set of tyres. As a driver, of course, I want more grip. I want to go faster and I'd love to have slick tyres. But this is a particularity of Formula E and I kind of like it because it makes racing exciting. And not all the drivers love having one set of tyres, but I love it, the fact that I can, I can use the same set of tyres, dry or wet. Well, it's a bit of rain, what's wrong with you? It's bullshit that they stop the race because it's raining. We've got all weather tyres. Yes, yeah, so Michelin obviously uses Formula E and the tyres they provide to the team uh, as a laboratory for a normal road cars. So, you can expect to see the technology at some point that we use in, in the race car onto the normal road cars. Impressive stuff and definitely one of the factors that results in Formula E having the close and competitive racing that it does. Give every driver the same tyres and the onus is then on skill, racecraft and mastery of those other characteristics like energy management. The development that goes into making these tyres perform in such demanding conditions then goes into the development of road car tyres, making them last longer and perform better too for non-racing drivers. So much so that in Berlin last season, Michelin Track Connect, a Michelin designed and developed sensor placed inside the tyres, was used to harvest real-time data as the cars raced. A first in international motor racing that, after analysis, allowed Michelin to run lower tyre pressures during the last four races of the season and provided the drivers and teams with increased performance better traction and greater consistency. So tyre pressures can be a little bit of a balancing game. The teams want to get maximum traction without losing performance or breaking the rules because there is a set rule in Formula E that by the end of the race there's a minimum tyre pressure that the teams and the drivers and the cars have to abide by. And when you're racing around a track for 45 minutes the tyres are warming up and with that comes an increased tyre pressure. So long story short, the teams have to set the tyre pressure right at the start of the race to not go over the limit by the end of the race. So there we go. Pretty much everything you need to know about Formula E tyres explained. Let us know if there are any other characteristics of Formula E you want to know more about and we will make it happen.